standing right next to its more common relative, the Moreton Bay fig, is a fig tree that only grows on Lord Howe Island. It's called Ficus macrophylla form columnaris. And as you can see, it's got masses of aerial trunks coming down from large horizontal branches. We call this style of growth a bunion style. So this is a bunion fig, grows only on Lord Howe Island. The plant grows and as it produces these large horizontal branches, it sends down aerial roots. Now as the aerial roots hit the ground, they mature to create these large trunks. So over time, the tree colonizes a large area and one tree on Lord Howe Island covers about a hectare of land. Like all fig trees, the Lord Howe Island fig has a unique form of flowering. So we're looking at a flower now. So all the male and female parts of the flower are held inside this structure, which is called a synconia. So it's a special type of wasp, a fig wasp, that's specific to each different species of fig that actually transports the pollen from one flower to another so that pollination can take place. Another distinctive feature of figs is the new leaves emerge from these structures called stipules, which are shed as the leaf emerges. And as you can see in the Lord Howe fig, they can also be quite colorful. You can see here our specimen has even started to migrate across the road, forming a large trunk on the other side of our Asheville path as it moves forward colonizing this part of the gardens.